Hello, my name's Michael Keneally and this video is entitled Pluto Energy, Stand Up in Your Power in May 2024. It's my second video about May astrology. My first video and blog post was on the need for revolutionary work with any wounds we have in the area of planet Venus in our life and sign Taurus in our life. Well worth seeing and reading. And also watch out for my upcoming videos about the new and full moon for May 24. But in this second video about May astrology and its associated blog, I focus on our real opportunity for healing and empowering work because Pluto is stationary and needs to be understood and needs to be worked with. Pluto stations at 7 degree 54 Vedic Capricorn before turning retrograde on May the 3rd but it hardly moves all month. All through May 24, Pluto will only move 10 minutes of one degree. And the point is, the slower a planet's velocity, the deeper it carves its effects into our life. Now Pluto is all about our power including absolutely also our buried power and our buried power issues that we know nothing about that are actually driving us and affecting us hugely in our life. But they come from our unconscious and we don't know about it. When Pluto is stationing or moving super slow, Pluto energy carves the power issue deeply into our consciousness and our awareness, even if we're not able to articulate it. You know, we feel it, but we think, well, what the hell's going on sort of thing. We can't identify it properly and work with it properly. We're often in denial of our Pluto problems. So it's so needed and so good if we, each one of us, can rise to the occasion and use it to discover the actual nature of our power issues and then do the needed work to heal them. It's all about we need to stand up in our proper power if we're to be the fullness of who we are if we're to get our life right. We need to live our life standing in our proper power. We need to resist being controlled. We need to oppose being bullied. We need to actually do the needed work to come into our proper power. We need to actually do the work to bring our buried issues around power to the light and heal them. Each one of us really does need to be able to assert himself or herself clearly and properly. Otherwise we disadvantage ourselves, mess up our relationships, mess up our lives. We need to be able to eliminate harmful influences, whether these are embedded in us from our past lives and our ancestry or from our earlier experience in this life. So you can get a reading from me which will include a really detailed study of your power issues. So you'd go to my Star Wheel Astrology website or the healing approach I can offer you is to do 
a summary reading focused very diligently on your power issues and then to do a journey to the abyss and the journey is included within the reading. So you go to the Star Wheel Astrology um, Journey to the Abyss page under the more drop down, I think. What's this about? Well, in Greek spirituality, this is the journey of Persephone. The journey of Persephone into the abyss, where Persephone transitioned from having the energy of an innocent maiden to becoming queen of the underworld alongside Pluto or Hades as well as working with her mother, the goddess Demeter, goddess of the earth. What a transition that was, because she journeyed into the abyss and encountered huge power issues. Now, in Mesopotamian spirituality, this is the journey of Ishtar, the earth goddess, also called Inanna in other parts of Mesopotamia. So what happened was Ishtar's beloved husband died. So Ishtar journeyed into the abyss to seek to retrieve her husband after he had died. And she had to go past sort of three gates with their gate guards and pay a fee as she went past each. So she ended up at the bottom of the abyss, naked and utterly bereft. But there she encountered her sister Ereshkigal, who was the ruler of the underworld. And she thought, oh, I'll be all right now. But what did Ereshkigal do? Ereshkigal hung Inanna, naked and bereft, grieving and weeping, on a meat hook. This is what we are, as humans can experience, this sort of thing. Now, meanwhile, the humans were missing the work of their earth goddess, Ishtar, or Inanna. And they were starting to starve, the crops weren't harvesting. So they sent a little creature to creep past those gate guards and retrieve Inanna. And when Inanna returned to the earth, it was found that the terrible experience of powerlessness and denial of her nature that she'd gone through in the abyss had made her not only goddess of the earth, which she started out with, but goddess of love as well. And of course this ties in to Venus astrology where Venus goes behind the sun transitioning from being evening star to morning star and the different energies that created. So check within yourself at this start of May, are you really standing in your proper power in this life? Do you need to contact your proper power? Do you need to retrieve your proper power? You can then enrol for one of my astrology readings, which are always extensive and always open to healing possibilities. So you'd go to my Star Wheel Astrology website, or as I said, you can go to the Pluto Journey to the Abyss focused reading, which is also on a different page on the Star Wheel Astrology website. Now, if it's the vision journey that you opt for, well, how does that work? Well, basically, you, with me, are standing on the surface of the earth, fully embodied, in fact, in a particular place then descending into the abyss to ultimately meet Pluto as keeper of the abyss. And then you seek to hand into his keeping all the wounds, darknesses, guilts and secrets 
that are weighing you down and obstructing your full connection to Pluto energy as Kether, for example, the crown chakra, wherein can pour divine light. After your meeting with Pluto as Keeper of the Abyss, the journey then takes you back up to the Earth's surface again. And there you experience the cleaner opening of your crown chakra, the fuller expression of the different facets of your power. And after the online meeting, I mean, not only to get reports beforehand and cover relevant power orientated astrology, after the meeting, you get a recording and you are advised to repeat the journey on your own using this at least three times following up your journey with me. Pluto energy needs to be sorted out. It can be experienced as either dark or light. We humans can't avoid meeting the dark face of Pluto. His is the energy of our wounds and hurts, our buried realisations, our secrets, our guilts. But we humans do need to face these, otherwise we'll never arise to the light and to the fullness of our power and to the fullness of our expression of ourself. Now, I, uh, so important times to do this journey it might well be a Pluto transit to one of your natal planets, an eighth house transit, um, and those are particularly transits that demand we face our issues, that we face our shadow. Otherwise, we cannot connect with Pluto as our own power. We won't be able to stand in our own power. But once we've made our terms with our personal Pluto dark material, we then can arise lightened. We can arise out of the depths, freed up. And most importantly, we may have to face the issue of fear during this transformation journey, this transformation period. So there's a need for each one of us to go to the zero point and face the shadow and then emerge healed. This is the call to leave our 3D responses and patterns behind and to embrace a more enlightened consciousness. And it's especially relevant now also as the USA goes through its own Pluto return with all the effect of that on its citizens and the world. We need to face the fear. We need to see the self that fear creates that we don't want. We then need to become strong in the face of it because of what it offers us, a chance for healing and growth and to shine. We need to walk through the shadow, passing the zero point, to arise fully embodied in strong consciousness. And incidentally, if childhood related traumas are involved, one method of healing can be hypnosis and hypnotic healing of childhood trauma. And my wife Maggie Pashley offers these. You can go to her website, www.maggiepashley.com. So enroll now with Pluto offering such an opportunity to do your own healing journey, to go down into the abyss to face Pluto as Lord of the Abyss and then arise lightened to meet Pluto as your crown chakra, free now to connect with the fullness of your own divine light. So I hope this post has been a useful prompt 
we each of us need to take action to sort out our power issues, our loss of power issues and our buried power issues. So you can go to my Star Wheel Astrology website to book a general reading including issues of power or a specific power orientated issue reading with the journey to the abyss. You can go to my wife's website, Maggie Pashley's website. The addresses are all below in the YouTube video description. And you might like to have a look, if it applies to you, to my worldwide dating site for those on a spiritual pathway who are seeking love. Lovestardating.com So, may you be blessed to have a vibrant May 2024 coming into your proper power and thus expressing the fullness of you. Thank you.